I think we recorded two, two albums for Columbia. By the second one, I thought, I know what I want to do. I want to play country music, real country music. And it was the first time that I ever had my hand slapped by the country music industry and say, no thanks for, <laughs> for playing country music. So I turned in this record called Let There Be Country. Didn't say it was the greatest record, but it, its heart was in the right place. But we turned it in, nah, I don't think so. So nothing happened, so I asked to be dismissed from the label. So I floated around for a while until I ran into my old buddy, Tony Brown, who was on a roll at MCA Records. And he signed me, and he put me with a writer named Paul Kennerly. And Paul had written a song for the judge called Hillbilly Rock, but after the first meeting, he went, you need this song. So he gave me Hillbilly Rock, and it was a hit record. I didn't think it was a hit record, but it was a hit record. And that song gave me a reason to have a bus and a band and cowboy clothes and take my point of view out on the road. And I found myself traveling in Ernest Tubbs' last tour bus, which was the coolest cowboy bus in the world. Had a great band. We were playing the right shows, doing the right stuff, and all of a sudden, it was finally starting to work a little bit. It was.